There's other people speaking up, and they're speaking up at town halls across the country. Mm -hmm. Former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords, she survived an assassination attempt. She's actually encouraging lawmakers to hold these town halls, saying, quote, have some courage after Texas... Gomer brought up Gifford shooting as a reason for only holding telephone town halls. Jason Chaffetz said he felt bullied. Jason Chaffetz, who knows full well, Secretary Clinton was questioned for 11 straight hours about Benghazi. So what do you make of these Republicans who are saying <clears throat> it's not a safe time to hold town halls? Well, it's coming home to roost. I, th I think that many of the tactics that were used uh, during the debate uh, period uh, on the Affordable Care Act when members were going back to their districts and I felt it back in my own district in terms of the turnout and and those who were disruptive at uh, those town halls or those congresses on your corner which I also had as well outdoors similar to what Gabby Giffords had done back then that and, and, and listen you know violence and threatening is not welcome anywhere uh, but I do think what you're seeing is a reaction uh, to what they're attempting to do, and that is to unwind the Affordable Care Act without replacing it. They want to they repeal it without replacing it. They want to have their cake and eat it, too. And what they're hearing is just how difficult that is and what impact that's going to have on people's lives. And that's why they're having this reaction. It's organic. This is, you know, the Democratic Party has never been good at putting together marches. We, we, we can't take responsibility for the March on Washington in the 1960s or credit for it. We can't take credit for the Women's March nor the immigration rallies that are taking place. These are very organic. And the same thing with these town halls. They are organic town halls. And that's why they're so uncomfortable.